Astronomers discovered a celestial object that was emitting enormous bursts of energy while mapping radio waves throughout the universe. This object is unlike anything that they've ever seen. Three times an hour, the rotating space object that was discovered in March of 2018 was emitting radiation. Welcome back to Discovery Scene. It acted as a celestial beacon at the time, becoming the brightest source of radio waves visible from Earth. The relic of a dead white dwarf star or a dense neutron star with a strong magnetic field, according to astronomers, might be something else entirely. The object was appearing and disappearing over a few hours during our observations, said the lead study author Natasha Hurley Walker, an astrophysicist at the Curtin University node of the International Center for Radio Astronomy Research, in a statement. That was completely unexpected. It was kind of a spook for an astronomer because there's nothing known in the sky that does that, and it's really quite close to us, about 4,000 light years away. It's in our galactic backyard. Tyrone O'Doherty, a doctorate candidate at Curtin University, made the remarkable finding while using the Murchison Widefield Array Telescope in Western Australia's outback. The Space Observatory can pick up this faint light. The internet can be used by astronomers to learn more about the formation and evolution of galaxies in the early universe. In its first five months of operation, the James Webb Space Telescope has already provided in-depth, one-of-a-kind analysis of galaxies. During a NASA news conference on November 17th to discuss preliminary findings from the new observatory, Garth Illingworth, an astronomer at the University of California in Santa Cruz, said, quote, We are really on track to realizing the ambition of understanding galaxies at the earliest times. End quote. Managers changed the telescope's operations to prevent micrometeoroids after 14 dust-sized specks struck the 21-foot, 6.5-meter golden mirror in recent months, but the images produced by Webb are still valid. Personnel will make changes as needed to avoid micrometeoroid avoidance zones. On November 15th, NASA officials made an announcement. The 17-mode James Webb Space Telescope, which lost one of its 17 observation modes in August, is once again carrying out ordinary scientific activities. Even though the James Webb Space Telescope has only been in use for a few weeks, it has already achieved historical milestones. The first direct photograph of an extraterrestrial world, which is located around 385 light-years from Earth and resembles a fault adjacent to the store HIP 65426, was obtained by the Deep Space Telescope. Webb used its near-infrared camera, near CAM and Mid-Infrared Instruments, or MIRI, which each look at a different wavelength of infrared light to observe the exoplanet. Additionally, scientists are working to comprehend the strange concentric rings that surround the far-off star WR140. A citizen scientist named Judy Schmidt shared an image on Twitter. After the super-cold mid-infrared equipment, Miri began displaying symptoms of friction in a grading wheel that allows astronomers to choose which wavelength of light to analyze, scientists are perplexed by the fact that irregular waves are revolving around the star. On August 24th, mission staff stopped using the observation mode. A terrifying array of fresh photographs from the James Webb Space Telescope were also unveiled, along with yet another unsettling picture of the Pillars of Creation. Stars are hidden deep in the mid-infrared as dust clouds loom in blue against the reddish backdrop. The newest mid-infrared photograph has arrived while scientists are still agog with another pillar's perspective in multiple wavelengths captured weeks ago. Nowadays, we are hearing a lot about the James Webb Telescope. Do you know its speciality? The telescope has managed to capture a galaxy-bending light. They solve the conundrum of whether or not the observers are looking at two galaxies or two star clusters and can produce an image of a galaxy with new levels of detail. The collision revealed a secret star formation. The James Webb Space Telescope is still studying the universe. The Deep Space Observatory recently observed the exoplanet, a brown dwarf almost 20 times the size of Jupiter, and it had indicators of silicate-rich clouds. 72 light years away from Earth, two tiny red dwarf stars are orbited by the brown dwarf known as VHS 1256b. If you subscribe to the channel, we'll take you to space. What do you say? Do you want to visit? <laughs> Just kidding, we can't take you there. But do subscribe to the channel for more space updates. The Hubble Space Telescope and the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array Investigations has revealed that the 2i Borisov has a unique composition. Although various kinds of stars are feasible, ALMA of the National Radio Astronomy Observatory in particular contains more carbon monoxide than any comet that has been observed at a relative distance or within roughly 300 million kilometers of the Sun. 
the comet, a smaller, fainter type of star than our Sun, may have formed around a red dwarf, according to scientists. Another possibility is that 2i Borisov is a little piece of planet with a lot of carbon monoxide in it. When entirely frozen or dormant, comets are about the size of a small town. Nevertheless, when heated by the Sun, their ends can extend for millions of miles. Comets are made of ice dust and frozen gas snowballs. About 9 football fields or 0.98 kilometers make up 2i Borisov. The most recent comet makeup research has been published in Nature Astronomy. The comet likely originated from an icy region comparable to the Kuiper Belt, which is the region where Pluto is connected to our solar system, based on the comet's high carbon monoxide to water ratio. The Hubble using Teams hypothesis postulates the 2i Borisov may have originated from a red dwarf, the most common type of star in the Milky Way. Red dwarfs are smaller and less luminous than the Sun, so the planet forming material they surround would be cooler than the components of our solar system. According to the Alpha team, the 2i Borisov comet could have simply evolved into one of a high carbon monoxide concentration, or it could have a thick layer around the outside that shields frozen gases like water and hydrogen cyanide. As the more combustible carbon monoxide vaporizes or outgasses, it may appear to be more plentiful than other cometary gases. The strange properties of Borisov may also indicate that there are more types of carbon monoxide in comets than were previously thought to exist in our solar system. Whatever the answer, Borisov presents a whole new set of difficulties for cometary science. The two areas of our solar system where comets have failed the most are the Kuiper Belt, which includes Pluto, and the Odd Cloud, which is far farther out. All of these comets likely began their lives closer to the Sun, but they may have been pushed outward towards the erratic motions of Saturn and Jupiter billions of years ago. Because of the strong gravitational pull of these massive planets, comets may even have been launched away from the Sun and towards other star sites billions of years ago. A huge planet in a red dwarf system that once lived in an environment with frozen carbon monoxide may have flung 2i Borisov our way, according to a study using Hubble. The Alpha team concurs that a young, moving planet is most likely responsible for the comet's journey. They claim that they had a brief encounter with our solar system after a cold, lonely journey, at which point he allegedly began to exhale gases and show us its innards. According to Hubble and Alma's results, the comet 2i Borisov is fast drifting away from our sun and contains more carbon monoxide than other comets in our solar system. It will eventually re-enter interstellar space and never leave. Although the gravity of the Sun is somewhat modifying the comet's course, unlike our Sun and its family of planets, the comet's path and high velocity prevent it from being captured and pulled into orbit. It's possible that Borisov was born in a star system that is either younger or older than our 4.5 billion year old solar system. It is likely that Borisov was similarly expelled from its home system because gravitational interactions with Jupiter have frequently resulted in comets that were first formed near our Sun being evicted from our solar system. Although the surface of a Borisov has not directly been observed, comets from our own solar system occasionally have rough surfaces that are coated in smooth layers of ice and dust. Borisov possesses a coma despite being too small to support its own atmosphere due to the lack of substance or mass, which causes gravity. Coma refers to the gaseous cloud of particles that surrounds the comet's nucleus. It's created when dust is blasted from the comet's surface and heated by solar energy. David Jewett, an astronomy and planetary science professor at the University of California, Los Angeles, said that the Hubble provides the most accurate estimation of the size of the nucleus, which is the most important part of the comet. What do you guys think about these findings? Do you think any more about it? Let us know in the comment section below. Here are some amazing videos that I think you'll enjoy. Simply click on the left or the right video to watch it. Stay tuned for the next video on our channel, and until then, goodbye.